What's up, y'all? What up? What's up, pal? Where are we? I, we are we're in tra- beautiful Power 106 KLOS Morello Studios. That's what we're calling. It. Okay. <laughs> All that. And, and what are we doing? We're doing a podcast. Ah. And I've never heard of those. <laughs> it's, it's a new thing. Okay, cool. It's a new thing. It's a good thing we're jumping on it in 2020. <laughs> That's what she said. Oh my so, God. and it wasn't Nor. Oh, All right. One of the first time. All right. So, so I'll start. I, I'm excited about this because, first of all, uh, I get to do something amazing and talk about some amazing topics yes. and change mm-hmm. the world with two of my best friends. Uh, one of these guys I've known Here for 20 go. years. <laughs> the other guy has been a That's close enough. working colleague and sister of mine. I'm sorry I'm laughing, Nor. For it's almost so seven funny. years. It never gets old. And I want to start ladies first. So go ahead, pal. Introduce yourself. <laughs> Nora, it's my pleasure to have you oh, as part of this podcast that we have no title for. Yeah, no, no. We're nameless. Yeah. We need help We're with nameless. the name. Um, but nameless in Burbank. To tell you guys a little bit, Burbank. I'm DJ Felly Fell. Uh, this is Nasty Nora. This yes. is Vinny the Freakin' Reekin. That's right. I've known Nora for almost seven years. Uh, Nora started working up here at Power 106 about 10 years ago. <laughs> Right, wow. intern. Yeah, as an intern. As an intern. That's crazy. And then years later, I randomly found her when I was looking for an assistant. Yeah. She went on to not only assist me, uh, but produce my show. And now she. And now we're here. Na- well, let me finish. Let me finish. <laughs> now Nor uh, is producing Nick Cannon's morning show. Yes. That's right. You know what I'm saying? She's uh, she's done amazing things with us up here over the years, and love uh, it. She holds me down still to this day. Aww. Not only in my my my, you know my my daily job here at Power, but. You know, she she keeps my schedule together. She keeps my, in some cases, my household together. I babysit Feli on the weekends. I make sure he's good. All of that. that. (laughs) But um, I love you, and I'm glad you're here. I love you too. Nasty Nora is a is an amazing person. Vinny the freaking Rican, 20 years strong, man. We here 20 years. Me and Vinny started at Power 106 almost at the exact same time. That's right. I think we were like a month apart. I started interning in the fall of 2000. So and you. I started on board. fall of 2000. Yeah, so we were already created a, a friendship a and a relationship. Vinny, back Vinny then. worked with me as my producer. He was he was uh, my first uh, producer on Power 106 when I was doing nights, Aww. and then he went on to work with me in my studio as an yep. engineer. Yep. Uh, you know, we went on to become good friends as we are today. Vinny uh, not only um, has worked with me as a producer on the air. And in my studio, but he's also an amazing producer. He does all all, all our commercial production yes, here. Yes, all of it. That's right. Makes and us sound good. Mm-hmm. Most importantly, um, he's established a name for himself, uh, doing an amazing show called Wax Only. Yes, I, I, I think that's what we would refer to it as a show. Yep. If you guys love hip hop, you you love Vinny the freaking Rican. That's yes. right. Because he is a plethora of knowledge. He's an encyclopedia, if you will, of hip hop. Uh, student of the game. Student of the game. <laughs> um, old and new. That's right. And um, tell them where they can see uh, Wax Only. Wax Only is on our Powers YouTube page. So just type in Wax Only. We've done like over 170 episodes and so counting. Dope. And uh, shout out wow. to my brother Mars, who always films and edits and puts Mars these right out. Me. He's yes, slap sir. My hand right now. Yes, sir. <laughs> there he is. We, we've been doing it for four and a half years. This year will be the fifth year. And uh, mm-hmm. yeah, man, having fun and, and continuing to create great timely content you know what yes. i mean it's gonna be a great year y'all great year it is 2020 is here again we don't have a title for this podcast but we do have some amazing topics <laughs> yeah uh and and today nasty nor is is starting off our topics yes i have a question mm. i have a question for you. Let's, let's, get it, let's, you get let's get it cracking all right so this was trending on twitter and a couple other uh, outlets what is your most awkward disappointing or interesting celebrity interaction you have had so Ooh. Keep in mind, I know we've been lucky to be in the hallways Man, with a lot, lot of I artists. Know what I, I already know mine. <laughs> but you have to think most awkward, I got a ton. most disappointing, or most... I got a ton. Okay. Vinny, wow. you want to go first on this? I'll, yeah, I, I got a few, but Don't one... Don't make me laugh. No. <laughs> 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 no, I got a few. We've been doing that for twenty years. Absolutely. Um, I've Go got ahead, a few. man. I want to hear the, you. The, the well, I got like five. There's off one the top. that, per, in particular, pops 
in my mind and it's a legendary artist and it's a legendary uh just icon and uh i ran into uh i produced i was i was helping with the source awards to 2000 source awards this is the summer actually before i started interning at power mm. so it was the source awards i worked for the source awards the, the executive producer my job on the day of the source awards was to get pictures of all the celebrities and artists right, right. so i basically he, he know i he, the executive producer knew i knew hip hop and he's like you perfect person for this go um whoever you see go and get disappointed no <laughs> go and get pictures <laughs> go harass of the all rappers. the artists that you see and here's the photographer it was an old ass dude so he didn't know anything but he was a dope photographer so i was running around um it was at the pasadena convention center so i was running around um trying to find who I, whoever i could find for, right so what what was going to happen is these photos that we took it was going to be the insert in the the, the start of the show so it's be like the 2000 source Awards starring nas and be a picture of nas starring dr dre eminem so um so yeah so we i started i saw wu-tang clan there mm. saw rizza ghostface um met the man so i was oh that's wu-tang Got pictures of them. Which, by the way, Vinny has gone on to become friends with, with these individuals that we speak right. of. Right. Oh, yeah. Well, RZA <laughs> is like, well, that's another topic for another day. Mm -hmm. He's he's an amazing uh, genius. Um, so, and then, so I saw Dr. Dre and Eminem, and this is when Eminem was just starting out. Mm. Got pictures of them. Um, I Hi, got pictures. my name is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm just starting out, meaning he was about to go pop. He was already mm -hmm. cracking in the underground, but he was about to go, Dre was about to put him out of there. So, uh and then I see from a distance, right after I, we took the pick with Dre and M, I see from a distance Jay-Z and the Rockefeller team approaching. It was like th his whole squad from a distance. And I was like, ah, perfect. So I ran up to Jay. Mind you, I'm 19, 20 years old. You know, talk. I'm, this is like one of my favorite hip-hop artists. So I'm like ecstatic as ever. And I go up to him I'm like, Jay, Jay. Uh, my name is Vinny. Um, can we get your picture? We're, I, I work for the Source Awards. We're gonna, um, we gotta take your picture so we could have it in the beginning of the show. Um, blah 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 blah. I kid you not. It was probably <laughs> about. It felt like ten seconds of just awkward silence. Like, and he was not even paying me no mind, paying me no Didn't attention. Didn't even look at you. Didn't, it, it, he guy. he made me like <laughs> look for a sec and then he was just kind of like if if it was something was like he he paid me no mind. I was like, uh. it probably was, it was probably a couple seconds but it felt like 10, 20, 30 seconds. <laughs> so I was like, um, I was like, uh, and then he kind of looked away and gestured towards somebody and I was like, still standing there, just dumbfounded. And all Isn't of a it amazing sudden, how these kind of events in our lives, we remember every detail. Oh like yeah, yes, yesterday. hell yes. Yeah. So, so <laughs> he kind of does this gesture, like, kind of pointing or whatever. And all of a sudden, there was a, a a a young lady who worked for him. I don't know if it was a publicist or if it was part of the Rockefeller team right. or whatever. She was part of their team, so she was like, "Hey, excuse me, nobody talks to Jay Z. You, if you want to talk to Jay Z, talk to me because nobody." Blah 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 blah. And I'm like. I'm just like, in sh I'm like really flustered, and I'm like, oh man, I'm I'm sorry, like I'm, uh, you know, I didn't, I, I I'm just trying to do my I'm job. Sorry, I don't know why I'm saying I'm sorry. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, but it kind of like rubbed me the wrong mm. way with Jay. That first impression that well, I got as a from fan, him, like you, just yeah, especially more. as a right. fan, and you know, me being originally from Brooklyn, New York, I felt I was like, yo, I want that Brooklyn yeah, love, you, you know, tell like, like fam, totally. yeah, you know where I'm from, yeah, I wanted to tell him all this type of stuff, but for him, he just didn't pay me no mind, and you know, I get it, you know, it's 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 hard for celebrity, and a, 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 but f for me. Jay-Z, like at that point, you know, Jay-Z an icon now. I looked at him as an icon and mm. in, in back in those days too. Yeah. So I always, that always rubbed me the wrong way. And what's crazy is um, I just felt stupid and so little and small. And like Nor does most of us. <laughs> <laughs> Working and, with people like you, yes. <laughs> and yes. So, so what's Good crazy reason. is like shortly after, uh, I'm a I'm a big Nas fan too. Mm. Um, so that was when the Nas J beef was cracking. So you were like, let's go Nas. I was like, yo, Nas, let's get him. him. Let's <laughs> get him. Eat through his ass. Pause. Ah. So um, I was Eat going, I was going rooting so hard for Nas just because of that one encounter. It was very disappointing for me. Right. And you know, again, I'm young. I'm naive. You're um, on the job. You're I'm just on the to job. I'm just work. trying to do my work. You know, so. 
that's that's in a nutshell what my story was. It was mad disappointing, and and I get it. Like, come on, Jay Z's looking at me like, who is this kid? I was wearing a Rockets T-shirt, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I was they like, were the Rockefeller gear. Had a son. backpack on. I was still, you know, so. That was it. When you <laughs> met him for the second time, mm -hmm. when he was up here, at, I didn't really. The, I wouldn't say I really met him. I just seen well, you like, saw what like we, at Powerhouse. He was a, he did a Powerhouse yeah, he years was, ago. He, so he and he did an interview with him. He's at been Powerhouse. up here at the station, you know. And one time he was up here. I had an awkward, actually awkward moment. That's not. This isn't my uh, my awkward side issue. But it was an awkward situation with with Jay Z because he was doing drops. You yeah. know, yo, this is Jay Z. You're in the mix with the heavy hitter DJ Felly. Yeah, yeah. And then he would do another drop. Yo, this is this is Jay Z. What up? What, what up? What up? What up, Hove. young ho? <laughs> and uh, I, he got he was you know reading the stuff that he was gonna that he was gonna uh, say, and he's like, yeah, 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 I ain't doing that one. That's mad corny. Which Ouch. was which yeah. was what? It was uh, it was like, yo, this is Jay Z, and right now you're checking out the sexy seven to seven Ooh, countdown. Yeah, 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 yeah. He wasn't he wasn't about the sexy. Doing? And in hindsight, looking back, I'm like, man, why the fuck did we call that the sexy seven to <laughs> seven? Would you you know, mad successful though. <laughs> Ratings from seven to midnight back Definitely. then when I was doing nights were crazy. Hell yeah. Uh, you're welcome. So I guess that countdown was successful. But Jay, you know, looking back, I was like, fuck, man, why did I fucking have him do that drop? Right. Oh my goodness. But uh, that was awkward. So, <laughs> you want me to go next? You know what? No, let me let me go. Go, one. yeah, yeah. Okay, so when I first started interning at Power 106, I was 20 years old. I was so like hungry for opportunity, right? Damn, that's so, been 10 Okay, we don't need to put years, years out Holy there. Holy shit. But anyways, when I was The in rule college, is you're not supposed to ask a lady their age. Well, that's you right. just put it out there I didn't anyways. Ask you. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, so I didn't start my internship till 10 o'clock, but I was like super like I'm going to go in early. I'm going to leave late. Like I'm to get a job at the end of this like i wanted to prove myself so you're still like that but go ahead <laughs> still trying to prove myself so anyways i didn't start till 10 but i happened to get there like super early i was driving from far so i was like okay i need to get there like 7 30 whatever 8 30. so the problem with that receptionist wasn't always open so i walked in and i was behind like i was in the office but i wasn't able to get into the studios because at power you have to have like a little fob that gets yep. you through all the hallways of all the studios so you know the morning show at the time was going on and i was waiting for eman or jeff to come and unlock the door i find myself i'm just like checking my little blackberry and like i have my backpack on and I turn around and the door opens and I see Warren G just standing there. And he's looking at me and he's like trying to open the door and looking at me and <laughs> trying to open the door. And he's like, hey, um, do you have do you have the key to get in here? I was he's like, like no. I talked like that. this door. No, he was so mellow, like yeah. just so mm. chill and soft spoken almost. And so I was like, no, you know, I'm just, just an intern. Like I don't have the key. And like, unfortunately I don't have anyone's phone number that's like on the other side of the studio. Mm -hmm. And he was just like, all right, so we're just standing there kind of <laughs> awkwardly, and he pulls out a joint. And mind you, I had never smoked weed ever before. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't even know. I don't even know if it was a joint at the time. Or a blunt. A blunt. I don't even know. I <laughs> like, what is say, that? I don't know. Is that a so he cigarette? pulls it out. He takes the hit. Or no, before he takes the hit. Is that a clove? <laughs> Seriously, it could have been anything. Oh, uh, it could have been gum for all I know. No, so he takes it out, and he turns to me. He's like, you want to take a hit? Wait, like, where? Wait, this was in the reception area. In the reception area, like it was probably I want to say like eight a.m. No one was out there. Again, that studio door that takes uh, you to yeah, what the yeah. hell was? Oh, he was up here for With Big Boy. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I and see. I, I didn't have like Big or anyone's phone number. Obviously, it's just an right. intern, so I didn't know even how to access the other side at that point. <laughs> so I was just hoping yeah, that Warren's like, like, if I can't get in there, man, I'm just gonna go ahead and smoke this <laughs> shit. Right. So he was just chilling. He's like so nice and so chill, and he like offered me some, and I was just like. <laughs> I had never smoked before, and yeah. I, especially at the time, was just like, oh my God, weed? Like, no, what the fuck, you know? And so I was like shook, and I was just like, no, I'm good, I'm good, but, yeah. you know, ain't nothing like a morning high. Like, I said that to him as if, like, I had been high before, as if I knew what I was talking about, and he just laughed, and he's like, you're telling me, like... And he's so like, it's my third joint today, right. this morning. Like, ain't nothing like a morning high, like, cuz, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That strawberry cough go hard. Yes, but, like, I was trying to act all cool, yeah. like, I knew what I was talking about. You had a West Coast wanna... slang to it, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? like, that's uh, strawberry morning cough, high, homie. in the mug, homie. <laughs> Super Valley girl, ain't nothing like a morning high, huh, Warren G? Like, I felt so dumb afterwards, but I was, like, embarrassed to say no, because I know if I told, like, you know, my friends or coworkers, whoever, like, yeah. like you dumbass, you don't want to smoke with Warren smoked G. You could have smoked with Warren. Right, like, I felt like such a loser, so I just wanted to, like, overcompensate by being cool and being like, 
Oh, you know, then like a morning eye. That's hilarious. But yeah. Anyways, someone, That's I don't amazing. even remember. Someone had walked out. He was let in. I was let in. I carried on. And they but... thought you were smoking. You got blamed for it. <laughs> but you like, know Like, this what? new girl already up in here feeling <laughs> comfortable. I'll enter and try to. <laughs> smoke a warrant yeah. out there. She's yeah. the hell? Yeah. But that would have been so dope. Imagine, like, smoking. I know you have stories with, like, Snoop Dogg and all that uh, stuff. But that would have been such a dope story. But I was, like, so afraid of weed. Well, Warren and, like, comes up here. He got a joint in his pocket. You do it again. Next time. Next I'm not going to tell him that story. Story next time he's up here. Definitely, please. The, I, the whole, I had the whole dog pound with Snoop. That's one of the many stories, and you know about this. He he was he was smoking in the studio. I mean, smoking loud. Yes. Not like you know outside the studio door waiting to get in, <laughs> taking a hit. Right. Like Snoop, Daz, corrupt, Warren, and uh, Snoop, Daz, corrupt, Warren, and uh, I'm missing Badass somebody. There. No, maybe. Nate Dogg? Uh, was Nate here? No, I don't think Nate was, rest in peace. I don't think he was here. But they were, I mean, we were on the air. I was on the turntables, the studio just full of smoke. Next day, you know, you smelled weed all the way at the other end of the oh, building. I bet. <laughs> but the station was so happy that I had Snoop. With the whole dog pound, yep. right? That they were like, yeah, we gonna we gonna let yeah, that slide. Yeah, they saw the ratings, one. but they're like, yeah, yeah we good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Let's <laughs> do some air freshener. We'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know if there was enough air freshener for for that kind of. I'm interested in hearing uh, what's your awkward or disappointing. So, <laughs> I think you. I've told you this story. If I don't think you were there, but I told you about this. So, uh, two chains had Ooh. just blown up. You know, got his deal with Def Jam. He was doing his his making his rounds around the country. You know, promoting his 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 new music. Okay, and and I I was already playing his stuff on the air, and I was a I was I became a fan. You know, fast. Yeah, as I think we all did. And uh, <laughs> Chains, he's scheduled to come up and do an interview at the station with me. He he walks in the studio and and I shake his hand and it, it it's something to the effect I said something like chains man huge fan man congrats on everything yeah and he looks at me and he kind of stands back he he kind of half-heartedly you know he shook my hand and he's like felly mm -hmm. it's titty boy and i'm like oh <laughs> shit you didn't even realize so so let me tell you for y'all that may not know who titty boy yeah. is uh, titty Seven boy was two chains name before two, two chains yep. and he was down with dtp and ludicrous and right. that whole and i had been rocking with luda for years yep and the whole td deep uh, the dtp camp that's right uh disturbing the peace right. and so i don't know why and how i didn't put two and two together that titty boy was two chains um you know, Vinny can probably help with this. You know me better than than most when it comes to my musical, not my yeah. artists and hip hop. Yeah. There's some things that just don't register with me, and then there's other things you'd be like, "Damn, boy, fell no yeah. shit." Yeah, for I sure. got something got lost in I the mix. I know. I mean, his stature alone, like he's like six three, isn't yeah. he? Like he's a big dude. So, like, how? It, let me just tell you. To this day, every time I see him, I apologize. <laughs> Because it was never the same between me and him, uh, you know, and I don't know if it's that he changed his look a little bit. I don't know if it was mostly I think it was the name change because yeah. he had slowly gotten away from the whole titty boy thing. But he did make reference to himself as titty boy in, in songs. Yeah. So future songs, right. I, you know, around that time. But I just didn't. I so didn't. He was kind of upset that you didn't recognize him. Is that I don't, you know what? I, I I think it was upset, but I think it was more disappointed mm -hmm. and kind of yeah. like wow. And he let me he let me feel it because Damn. he didn't. I felt like it took him even to this day when I see him, I feel like a fucking tool. Yeah, because I'm like, man, I should have known that, bro. You know. And I think one of the last times I saw him was, uh, I think I saw him in Wyoming when Jay when uh when Kanye, Kanye did his uh -huh. thing. But it was it was before that we were at. I know. Actually, it was. It was in Wyoming. We were at an after party uh -huh. at, at when Kanye did his whole uh, spiel out there, and we were at some after party at this at this big ass house, uh, and 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 he was just chilling, and and we were kind of sitting next to each other. So I kind of scooched over, and I'm like, "Hey, bro!" And he goes, "Fell, what up?" And I'm like, "And and I was lit, by right. the way, mm -hmm. and I'm <laughs> sure. pretty sure he was too." And I commenced to to tell him 
probably for the tenth time, you know, hey man, I still feel fucking terrible. And mind you, at this time it right. had been about fucking ten years. Right. Yeah, he, you know, right. he, he may have. Uh, I'm interested if he even remember. He told me that night in Wyoming. He said, "He's like, Fally, we good, man. Uh, <laughs> we yeah. good. Shut the you know, fuck but up still, <laughs> because also, you know, being that I'm from Atlanta mm-hmm. and being that that he's from, you know, Atlanta, yeah. and, and, and and you know, I've always been been." You know, and I went to high school out here. Yeah, you bet. You was an advocate and a supporter of, especially, uh, you know, Atlanta hip hop. Uh, be, South, especially South. back in the day when all that shit blew up. Mm-hmm. You know, as a DJ, all the DJs we were all playing that 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 music. Yeah. And uh, so so I was very familiar with it a, as well, obviously as West Coast. I mean, mm-hmm. I went to high school out here. Shout yep. to everybody at Gary uh, High School in Pomona, P Town. But you know, I had a well rounded you know type of. Uh, uh, Palette. Knowledge, yeah. uh, as as a DJ, and then becoming friends, you know, with Vinny back in two thousand. Vinny was a huge West Coast, you know, uh, fan, yeah. but but a, a huge East Coast, and East Coast was always my. My, I, w- I was the least knowledgeable about East Coast. Really, it, it, I, I don't know why. Uh, it, but but but, and I will tell you, like back in the day, Miami bass music, yeah. <clears throat> you know, music the bottoms, what they used to call it. Mm-hmm. I knew all the MC Shadi and Luke, yep. and you know, but I also knew you know the NWA and the, you yeah. know all that, and, and it's just. <laughs> I still, I'm embarrassed that You're I didn't. You're still beating yourself man, up. Man, stand straight up. He, he twisted it on us. He embarrassed somebody else. Like he was, he wasn't the one embarrassed. You embarrassed. But he's paying for it years later. Yeah, and but I think now you. But I think it that's what it was over the were, years. You know, his everybody was around, and I, and he right. saw. It's one of those things where you like, you, you like, I'm, I'm it'll here, come into your yeah. mind, and you're like, oh my god, fuck, I did that. I forgot yeah. about that. He was you like, know? I'm up here to do this interview at Power and Felly, the one motherfucker I know at yeah. this radio station doesn't even remember. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm Teddy Boy. So, for the 11th well, time, actually... two chains, I'm sorry, and I love you from the bottom of my heart. That's actually really good marketing on his end. I mean, he totally like yeah. evolved Teddy Boy to two chains. That's and right. really let me tell you. Let me tell you. Chains, let me tell you. So. That's a fact. When the minute he's like, "Fell is Teddy Boy," and I'm like, "Oh shit," because I knew, you know, what he was trying to do all those years. Mm-hmm. And and honestly, I'm not going to say he didn't get his fair, you know, do yeah. so to speak from Luda Ask and the DTP anyway. fam because everybody you know it, it, everything comes with time yeah. yeah Chains never gave up that dude kept going Gr- he kept personified going personified grinder like and, and you can't say that for, for everybody that was in that DTP camp that's true you know what I'm saying um, you know don't talk it, to E-Man about Chingy about Chingy yeah. don't oh, tell him man. don't mention that we need that. to have E-Man call in and <laughs> break Dog. that down Dog. I'll tell you that talk about an awkward disappointing uh, run in We'll have to have him in on that one. Yeah, we're, we're not telling, telling that story. story. <laughs> we need to tag DJ E-Man. Have yes, him comment yes. that story. And everybody else, we need to hear. Yes. I would love to hear. Because, you know, er, people could run into, who knows, Anthony Anderson at, at Ralph's or, right. or Kevin Hart somewhere. I, we want to hear your disappointing. Or maybe it was a dope experience with a celebrity. And let me tell you another reason it was disappointing for me. Hmm. Because one of the and, and I'm I'm, I'm just gonna say it I don't give a fuck like I'd be lying if I didn't say there was a part of me that was like fuck you're never gonna do a feature for me are you <laughs> of course as a <laughs> DJ like, your as a producer as, you, as you bad, know as bad as I felt for him at the moment and and me just being embarrassed I was, it was a, that third thing that kicked in was like ah, fuck. <laughs> You know, no, hey man, man, what if we said featuring Titty Boy? It doesn't even have to be two chains. <laughs> no mixtape for you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but you guys shit. are good now. Yeah, you're good. You're no, good. We're now. good. Like yeah. I said in, in Wyoming, which was only what a year ago, uh, year and a half. Year, a year and a half ago. <clears throat> yeah. He was like, he basically said, "Felly, if you bring this shit up one more, it was kind of one of those conversations." Now you're about to piss him off. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. And we've texted since then. I hit him for something. The feature. About- <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, although I should, you should. I should. Uh, but yeah. Um, anyway, that that was. I got a ton of those stories though. A ton of awkward moments with artists, like who is the disappointments, dopest? letdowns. Like okay, finally who meet is the this dopest? person. Who was like the the person that you met and you were just like either maybe not a crazy fan for, but mm. once you met them, they really won you over or. Someone that you really did were excited about, and they really met those expectations. There's actually several, off top. Like um, RZA is always good energy. Mm-hmm. 
for me, uh, being a, a huge Wu Tang fan. He's always showed love. He's like not, you know, I was I'd be just the production guy and you know commercial producer. Like yo, I'm a big Wu Tang fan, and he'd be like chopping my head. Like we'd be chopping it up in the hall, mm. you know. That's one And it came to the guy. point where you guys built a, a friendship. No, yeah, like he's a he's a dope dude. And and you know another uh, Fat Joe is always, always. love. Oh, yeah. Fat always. Joe is like always. it's surreal how down to earth Fat Joe as a human being mm. just is. Like it's so dope to he see. He has a positive aura too. Yes. Like yeah. when he walks in a room, he addresses everyone and like For sure. What I, you know what I feel when I see Joe, I describe him as like don't mistake kindness for weakness. Like that's Absolutely. fat Joe in a nutshell. Respect. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Because people who really, really, really understand and know Joe, you know, he's Joe is a, a real dude Absolutely. in in every way, shape, or form, mm -hmm. and you know he's he's he could easily be that that guy, and mm. he chooses not to be right. And I respect that so much with him, you know, and he and, and the longevity, mm -hmm. you know. Now he's saying it's gonna be his last album. I'm like, bro, come on, man. Yeah, there's there's several like Kendrick when he's walked in here, he's been so cool. TDE, they've been always yeah. like love, you know. They must go to some sort of boot camp because <laughs> everyone on TDE, I would say TDE and Dreamville, every time I've encountered any one of their members, both like the artist, producer, or management, they will stop, have a conversation with you, address you like you're the homie versus right. like. Mm. Okay, take your picture and carry right, on. Right. Like mm. they want to talk to you. So both those labels, both those teams are just solid through and through. I agree. I think the way we should end this off is uh I wanna I wanna know from you two, what are you looking forward to in twenty twenty the most? Nora, you got a new job with Nick <laughs> Cannon. I know, so exciting. Wilding out, rapper Every extraordinaire, <laughs> uh schoolboy. Nick Cannon yes. is going to school. Literally. What every isn't week. he doing? You might as well list what he, he's not he doing. He goes to Howard on Tuesdays. Yeah. Flies out to DC every week. It's incredible to watch him work. He does Wild and Out, which is now they've been filming it in Atlanta. Right. Uh -huh. uh, actually, not far from where, where my mom lives. And uh, Teddy Mora, that, that's yes. on in the mornings with TV Nick, got, he got a chance to be on, on uh, so dope on Wild Out, which was is a so long dope. Time coming. Teddy Hell Mora, yeah! Like was the most slept on person <sighs> on Power One Hundred Six. Facts. Like Facts. that was a long time coming. And he for got, Nick to recognize yeah. it in like like yeah. months. He had least, to because yeah. Teddy would have bagged on him. <laughs> <laughs> Teddy, I'm sure he Teddy. Got, got a couple jokes in. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, Morning. I could get some in right uh, now on him, but I ain't gonna go there. He's not here. He's not here. Me and Teddy go at it. Um, and then working with Melissa. Melissa's oh been amazing. Gosh. So uh, you know, you got a new job. Yes. Um, and 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 I, you know, when when all this unfolded, Nora and I worked together for six years. Like technically, literally, not just at the station, but Nora has been a big part of my career. And 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 I don't like to put a title. On, on what she's done with me over the years, but she's helped keep my shit together. Absolutely. She's coordinated <laughs> my schedule. She makes sure I'm on time for shit. Yep. Uh, on time. She, yeah. She right. makes she makes sure <laughs> I show time. up. Yeah. But 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 you you you, you how are you feeling about twenty twenty? I'm so excited. And you know what? It was so great. Like obviously working with you really taught me everything well, like literally no for real like <laughs> i remember even as an intern like everyone was like oh felly's so particular felly's so particular and to work with someone not who's as so particular as nick cannon no but see that's like that's what makes you guys so great is that you are so particular you're very uh <laughs> particular and yeah. who you want around mm. you and how you want your work done how you want your schedule done and that's what breeds greatness and i really feel like working with you helped you know set me up for that and you know working with him is going to set me up for something man. you know down I, the road. I, I told her when she got the job with nick i'm like hey man you on your you, you yeah there you go because nor has always been you know uh, just a go-getter yeah you know and i i told her thank when she first thorough. started with me she's the thoroughest she is oh, she's you. on top. to a fault yeah no she's just <laughs> oh, thorough you, like guys. it's just a, it's it's so great to see <laughs> thank you. the you know how her, your career has progressed nah, i'm straight happy up. for you you know what i mean straight up straight up and Vinny. yep Vinny, i've seen you over the years grow so much to the point where you're you know you got in and i've always known this about Vinny. Vinny doesn't consider himself a dj mm -hmm. um but but over the years Vinny working with me in my studio Vinny working with me at the radio station um i would see Vinny's love for music 
uh, uh, Vinny's vinyl collection grow mm. over the years. It's just knowledge. Just, just, yeah. just a hip hop kind of sewer. Yeah, man. And then you started doing Wax Only a few years back. Yep. Uh, I want you to talk about Wax Only for people who, who, who may not know about it or for people who do know about it, where it's going to be going in 2020 and what you have planned. Man, just continuing consistency. Like, we've got my brother Mars, who always holds me down, films it, edits it. We've gotten over, like, 170 episodes over four years. That's dope. Like, four, four and a half years. So my goal is to... Push it over 200 episodes. Mm. You could wait. Um, what episode are y'all on right now? We're like at 171. Holy yeah. shit! Yeah, and we've had some setbacks because unfortunately, where it lives on YouTube, we've had some flags, um, you know, and that sort of thing. But it's just if you're a student of music, doesn't have to be hip hop. That's the beauty of Wax Only. We I go to every every, and we should have this conversation on another podcast, but I go through every genre of music you could possibly imagine. I'm a student of the game. You know, when I used to get CDs, buy a CD, I used to open up the credits and see who Pete Rock sampled when it says contain sample of, and I'd be like, I need that record. Right. Whatever that record is, I need that. That's so true. I've always been a student. The cast I grew up with always been students, and we respect the art, we respect the craft. So my wax only, I'm just shedding a light on a lot of artists who just get forgotten about. A lot of the albums that I cover are golden era albums, um, artists that don't get enough credit and, credit and, and, and um, just in today's world, you know, people forget an artist. I, my job and my goal for Wax Only is never forget that KRS One is is a beast. Never forget <laughs> Eric B and Rock Kim are the one of the greatest groups in hip hop. Never forget that Pete Rock mm. and Primo are the one of the best hip hop producers and Dre's a, and and the Dillas mm. the, the the greatest. So I, I have a favorite episode. What's up? Lauren Hill, Miss Education. Yeah. I think mean, that was my favorite. I can't tell you a favorite only. episode. Yeah. Just, you know, we've evolved. You know, at first, you know, it, it's it's evolved. And, you know, I, I, I did a little DJing in high school and stuff like that. I can never, with the DJs, the caliber of DJs I grew up with, I can't even put my hat into the into those cat, cats, you know, because they're on another level. But, you know, I have my lane. I stay in it. And that's what it's all about. I got it's I got my ass. own little 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 like uh, tutorial, if you will, on YouTube, mm. cutting breaking down the samples, and that, I, I it's, love, a I it. it's a passion of mine. It's a passion of mine. And, and it's I walk a great in there thing. sometimes, and Vinny's prepping for, yeah. for the wax on, yeah. and, I'll, and I'll just stand <laughs> and like, there. Yeah, fell I'll be like, oh shit, like yeah. Vinny'll be like, remember this, remember this, <laughs> and a lot of times I'm like. The fuck is that? <laughs> and then he'll play, you know, the 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 the, the rap version, if yep. you will, yeah. uh, the hip hop version of that sample, and I'm like, oh yeah. shit! So my collection is eclectic as hell, and the episodes are are are, are eclectic. And if anything, um, if you don't know too much about an Eric being Rakim, you might drop in an episode and be like, oh man, who is this Bob James dude who who they Oof. sampled? Like, who is that? And then you just dive into this, like we all do, in a rabbit hole of music and never get out. Man. That's the beauty of Wax Only. That's in a nutshell. We almost like, didn't get out uh, of, uh, of of the Eric B and Rakim show when, when we Ooh. went. We didn't want to leave. What? Me, I had tickets to see Eric Shout B and Shout to Marcellus Wiley who yeah. had us up in oh, the Oh, yeah. In, in My the, buddy <laughs> Marcellus just after happened to be. you punched him in the face? Yeah. That was yeah. after yeah. that. I That's elbowed. another awkward celebrity <laughs> first encounter. First of all. Belly punched Marcellus Wiley first of all, in the face. That's first right. of all, it was a nose. celebrity basketball game, <laughs> and my elbow slid up his That's arm right. and accidentally hit his nose. That's right. Um, I totally made up for it. Nor helped me with this. We we got we got him a big teddy bear delivered to ESPN. I know. I've seen it. And I had to walk it to his his studio and I'll never forget it was so hot that day it was a life there was size no teddy bear parking. I drove like a tiny little Honda Civic Marcellus' his wife's like who's this girl with the but teddy but you know what's funny Marcellus, <laughs> Marcellus to this day for about that was what three years ago yeah, Something like that. For three years, because he just told me a couple months ago that they finally took the life-size teddy bear out of his son's room. Damn. For three years, that teddy bear was in uh, his son's room. So he got it in his room now. It, it, Marcellus finally got it in his room. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, I should have told him. Like, where? Oh, so you moved it in the master bedroom? So, hey, no, you didn't throw that motherfucker away, dog. But... But yeah, we had that incident, and and you know, Marcellus and I have known each other for a while, and I'm a huge fan, as is Vinny. And yeah, we, he's we, hilarious, man. I love him. I, I hit great. Vinny, and I'm like, yo, I got Eric B and Rakim tickets. I've never. I saw Rakim one time at the Century Club back in like 19. 
99 or 2000 and and i was like bro i've never eric me and rock camera are back together you, and, and he didn't yeah. i don't even think he let me finish my sentence and he was like i'm in yeah i already knew the show because i was trying to get tickets and i really i i, I was oh, is that how it i wasn't lucky no but you had mentioned like yo eric b i was like bro oh yeah yes so anyway let's go. we both decided we're going to this fucking show we go and just to make it even better we run into Marcellus, and Marcellus has his, get this, his yeah. own table yep. with his sister. Yep. And both of them, you know, both of them are, are from the CPT. Yep. You know what I'm saying? He is a huge hip-hop fan. What? And he was like, I went up and, and said what's DJ. up to him. And he was like, Fal, come on, man, come yeah. on. I was like, I'm with my boy Vinny, man. He's yeah. like, man, bring that motherfucker up. Yeah, yeah. We ended up, you, <laughs> you know, drink. You guys got super wasted, right? You we drank, we, 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 he had a, he had a bottle. He, he had, had a bottle. bottles. He had a bottle for him and his sister. That's right. And he offered us a drink, and I'm like, man, I know you're with your sister. He's like fell. He's like, he was just. It he was. Just, it, we had a blast. But we and were like, we were like teenagers ever. in a concert. All of us Dog. like slapping. Like every song <laughs> every that came on, it was like, yo, I and ain't no joke. I used to let the mic smoke, and and he knew every word. His no. sister what? even knew the words, that, bro. I was like, I, it was, it was probably my favorite concert ever. Yeah. Wow. Ever. Yeah, that's crazy. And, and that's crazy. anyway, that's a whole. That, we gotta story, we gotta touch on those stories. Later, I look but, forward to that. Yeah. Stay tuned. More of those things, those great <laughs> Go on YouTube, times. type in Wax Only, enjoy the playlist. It's got 170 episodes and counting, and we're going to have another, you know, I'm trying to, you know, I'm kind of running out of episodes, to be honest with you, but we, we'll figure that out as nah, we go along. Nah, you ain't going to run but, out, yeah, yeah. I'll <laughs> help you with fine. that. I got I, I got <laughs> I, I'm going to hold you down. All right. I'm going to hold you down, uh, uh, a.k.a. make you find all fucking right. topics. All right. Let's do it. Um, all right. Ask me. Okay. Yeah. 2020. What's Felly Fell got in store? I can't wait to continue doing this podcast with you guys. Aww. That's great. Because I get to express myself in ways that I can't on the airwaves. Hell yeah. Uh, on that note, I look forward to continuing, you know, doing my thing uh, on Power 106. Yes. Uh, I have mm -hmm. so much fun. Um, got 20 a new years producer. Plus. 20 years. Going this on year, 20, 20 years. years. Yeah, it'll be 20. 20 years in September. Shout to Messy Less, my, my yes. new producer since Nasty Nora has moved on to bigger and better things with Nick Cannon and the That's Morning right. Show. Um, and, and grateful that Nora is still working with me. Nora, yeah. Nora is still... Um, is Putting all, up with your shit. I'm just she kidding. still she 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 got this new situation. She's holding me down still. She still holds me down. She's Always. still on my team as well, which which makes a great situation for Nick doing mornings, me doing afternoons. You know, there's a there's a synergy there, if you will. Yeah. Um, so I'm looking forward to more radio. I'm looking forward to continuing. You know, my 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 club reign as a DJ. You know, yep. so I still have a blast. Yes. Did New Year's in Dallas. Shout out to everybody in uh, uh in Dallas. Um, and I look forward. Uh, I got some new music on the way. Uh oh, we spoke about DJ you know, Felly Fell. We spoke about. Uh -oh. Hey, can you call Testing Two Chains and get him? I might, I might be calling you Chains, but yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm you got getting another Kanye verse. Or what? I, I, I'm, I'm getting back. I never have left my music. Uh, right. You know, my yeah. music grind, by yeah. the way. Shout to the Americanos. You know, I was doing my thing with, with a group that we have for a while, and that's that's my brother. Shout to Alex and Louie. But I'll be getting back on my – I got some I got some heat coming on, some, on the Felly Fell tip. So I'm excited about that, and I'm excited, again, about this podcast. Yeah. And help us name it, damn it. Like, we need a name. <laughs> yeah, that, that, thank you. That's how yeah. I wanted to end this. There you go. Th please help us. Come up with a name for this podcast. We're gonna have guests. It's not just gonna be us three boring folks every time rambling about you know <laughs> hip hop and then going to war. We're, we're we're gonna have guests on the show, uh, but a lot of times it will be just us three. And we want to mm -hmm. know uh, what you guys want to hear from mm -hmm. this show and a podcast. Given that you guys know who we are and what we do and what we're all about, um, I hope we conveyed that um, during this first uh, episode and. Uh, we want to know a name. We need a name. Mm -hmm. We Desperately. need a name. Yep. Can we tell them some of the names we came up with? Why not? Mars, uh, Mars actually came up with. Yeah, yeah. Mars, Mars has got the with, best one yet. Uh, Mars came up with jigs and gigs <laughs> because we were just, we were joking spits. about how a name doesn't make a show. It don't even fucking matter. A show it makes it really name. don't matter. And and I think another one where, where you came up with today was equity in the game. Uh, yeah, that, that's a little long. That's a little long. Yeah, uh, uh, I, I had, on the roof or something. Yeah, you had you was gonna have us on P four and and yeah, we were originally gonna do this P4. outside because there's palm trees and on this the parking and that. level. You know, yeah. digital team looked at me like, mm. yeah, you just heard. <laughs> <laughs> 
which is probably what they heard on this podcast for the last hour. That's facts. But we we need a name. Um, I'm looking forward seriously. Like, yeah. You, yeah, I love you guys. You're two of my favorite people. Aww. I don't say it often enough. That's right. Um, and I I can't wait to continue to do this um, through 2020. 2020, Same. baby. Let's go. All right. Peace, y'all. Tell us what name you want. <laughs> Please, right Thank here. You. Comment below. <laughs>